When we did the original research with Tier Fund on consumer attitudes to sustainability and responsible tourism, um, and we came out with some evidence, one of the one of the better tour operators wrote a piece in Travel Trade Gazette saying, look, only eight percent of the people who phone us up are even interested in our environmental impact. Now, I think he made that figure up. But the point was, no tour operator can ignore 8% of the market. So you end up, even if it's only 8, 10, 15, 30% of consumers, and it's more than that, who care about these responsible dimensions, over time you have to change your product. Because if you don't, you're going to lose market share. Mm -hmm. And your experience here is the same, isn't it? That You've seen a massive growth recently in the numbers of people um, inquiring for holidays through you and it's not that they just want the responsible element it's like Marks and Spencer's they want a good product a good experience at a good price and they don't want to feel guilty they want it to have a sense of it being sustainable and it's that basket of things which companies will increasingly be required to produce my optimistic mindset and my personal experience led to me to be convinced that if you treat people right you're going to get a wonder you're going to have a better time yeah but it's complete hypothesis, really. But now um, we have nearly 10,000 reviews from tourists. We grade them one to five. Um, we don't mess around with the rating scheme. Five stars is the best holiday I've ever had. I'm reborn. But it's a pretty high bar. Four stars is some stories to tell the grandchildren. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to a friend. And then they go down from there. The average score for these responsible holidays nearly 10,000 of them, is between four and five. Between the best holiday I've ever had and some stories to tell the grandchildren, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to a friend. So my hunch that people wanted those authentic, real experiences and you were more likely to get them with this mindset and approach to tourism seems to, be, to have been borne out. I can completely understand that. We know from research that the co-op do, co-op bank actually, tracking consumer um, preferences, that people are very reluctant to recommend products which they're not completely sure about the responsibility of. Mm. And that's understandable, isn't it? The last thing you want to do is embarrass yourself in front of a friend or relative. Now, that will apply <laughs> to travel and tourism in the same way that it applies to choices about washing machines and, and um, hotels. It's it's going to be part of what determines consumer choice and it's a growing part as people realise of the power of the consumer. Yeah, I mean, I've been told and we were told when we started this off, you know, that you won't be able to say anything with a company name as Responsible Travel. Um, we just passed £100 million pounds worth of sales. Um, we're growing at, it looks like we grow close to 50% year on year this year. Um, and I think beginning now to have some really hard evidence to, to back up some of the things that we've discussed.